Good afternoon. It is January 7th, 2021. Let's make the new 2021 a great year for the Lord, in the Lord. And put the what's history is history, and let's put it behind us. So let's put the Lord first. I'm going to read out of 1 Timothy 3.14. The Great Mystery. These things I write to you, though I hope to come to you shortly. This is Paul talking to Timothy in the church. But if I am dis delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to con conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen by angels, preached among the Gentiles, believed on the world, received up in glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, the Lord is great. But Paul is talking to Timothy in this and how the church and how he should preach. We all should listen and read the, the word and learn. We just have to stay on track with the Lord and put the human world behind us. Because without the word, we are lost. Um, I know there's a lot going on in the world today. I let the world get me. I've been sick. Uh, I was in the hospital for a few days. Um, I'm doing well, but keep prayers lifted high. Keep praying for our military. Keep praying for our law enforcement. Uh, firefighters, EMTs, doctors, nurses, defenders, protectors, and templars, pastors, ministers, and chaplains. Keep praying for the Bridge Church, which I belong. Uh, pray for the pastor, Jacob, and the team and family. Uh, pray for our nation. Pray for our world governments. Pray for faith strength and healing we are we the, we need a great revival but uh you know you know be rapture ready people got to repent and get rapture ready for whatever's coming along only god is in control of all this uh pray for those that need saved and pray for the homeless uh don't forget to subscribe down below for prayer and if you have any prayer requests put them in the timeline below pray for my family pray for my ministry we're living in some hard times and i apologize for not coming on sooner or putting a video out again i've been uh been under the weather a little bit um I've had three corona tests done, all come up negative, praise the Lord, but pray for those that are suffering from the coronavirus, um, for healing. I've known a few people that that are had it and under it and survived. I know people that have not survived it. So it comes and goes, it is a real virus, it hits people differently. So people that think that it's not, it is, it is real. Um, so we need a, a it's like um, God gave us the virus worldwide to remind us of him and the healing that he can do for us in his name. So stay strong. Remember your battle plan, pray, fight, and trust. It's not over until God says it's over. Keep on fighting till your victory is won. Don't get caught up in the human world ways 
it'll drag you down. And as Christians, we got to fight for another way. And that's put on a full armor of God and to stay strong because the battle isn't flesh and blood. It's principalities that is out of our control, that they're trying to take control of, the, of us by shutting down everything that we had. So keep praying, stay strong until we meet again. God bless you.